So here we are arriving at the uh, fantastic Goit Valley for a uh, super forage. Just waiting for Dean now to arrive and uh, we'll head off up into the woods. So just give you a quick look around uh, Herwood itself. The water levels have certainly raised since last time and it's quite looking, uh, well, looking quite spectacular. So we're heading out from the main car park now and um, we're just going to pop through the wall by one of the old parts of the woodland and onto the track. This track leads up um, to the main routeway which goes down towards Irwood Hall but on the right hand side and the left hand side here there's some nice old types of woodland where you can see straight away uh, we can spot some mushrooms. Again, very very wise to go on a uh, mushroom foraging course and some of the mushrooms that we have shown in this video um, some of them we're not quite 100% sure of ourselves so we'll pop back and uh, get the old books out this this area here was where a little squirrel had been doing uh, quite a little bit of um, squirrel work and a lovely super little robin's nest there as well So we're uh, just heading through the woodland just above Verwood Hall itself. Uh, some fantastic sort of cut logs, different bits of uh, fungi growing there. This was uh, quite an interesting piece as well. Uh, super bit uh, cut out in the rocks. I'm not sure myself what this is, but I would imagine it's uh, some type of little shrine because uh, there are quite a lot of yew trees in the area. So I'm going to do a bit of research on that myself. Uh, we're passing in through the old gateway now up on to the top of the zigzags. Uh, super little spot here, beautiful woodland. So we're heading on past uh, the area of Cast Edge Mine and uh, down the steps towards Shooter's Club Cottage. And in a minute we'll cross over the little stream and then we'll head up the bank and you can see some of the remains of the old cottage which um, if you actually go on Google and Google the Goit Valley um, you can see all these pictures and the original pictures and the original folk that used to live here and some of them are absolutely quite fantastic images uh, so well worth a visit there um, so again that's looking back up the track uh, we're heading now down to Shoes Cliff Cottage and we're just going to cross up over and then head on to the, the old trackway into the gates and again you can see this on the, uh, the website if you go to the Goat Valley website now it's a super site and it shows again like I say all the original pictures and a lot more history as well so that's looking up the old roadway And as we pass through the gate here are the old ruins uh, of the cottage. Not a lot left to see now, but still plenty of mushrooms growing and here we have some more. And again, make sure you can identify them, get your books out, get any foraging courses and uh, have some fun with it. So we're popping now down to the old waterfall. This looks absolutely stunning. Superb on a hot summer's day I'm sure. So mushrooms away, um, we're heading on up the old trackway past uh, the well and on to Cast Edge Farm. This well here, uh, if you actually as I say go onto Google and look up for the Goit Valley, you can see one of the original little girls uh, dipping, dipping a bucket in the well um, for the cottage. And these are some super slabs, these are probably the roofing slabs. And then looking back at some of the old footings. So here we are heading up the track to the, uh, to the graveyard. Uh, she's a lovely, lovely, pleasant view from the top. Uh, super graveyard again. And this is where the Grimshaws were buried. And obviously all the inscriptions are on the grave, so they're quite clearly uh, visible to see. And this originally was the crypt. Uh, you can see the big mound. Unfortunately, I think if you Google it, it had to be taken down because of vandalism, uh, which is a great shame. 
and uh, then we start to uh, head on back and take a bit of a detour off and uh, head down towards the old trackway uh, via the back or, or basically underneath the graveyard. Again, still spotting uh, quite a lot of fungi. Uh, there's plenty to see, you can see it's covered up, so sometimes you do have to have a little bit of a scrap round. Now these are polypore, um, birch polypore. Quite interesting, again Google that, you, quite, a lot of uses, uh, quite a lot of usages there. And uh, we're nearly heading to the end of our tour, and unfortunately, that's all we've got.